Elior does with his jacks. This is actually a really gross spot with Jax. You think, all right, you know, he's only got 18 big blinds, so uh, Jax are, are the best hand a lot of the time. You're only six-handed, but you raise under the gun with a pretty comfy stack. You're in the middle of the pack, and then you get three bet from this tiny stack in the small blind. You have to start thinking, maybe my Jax are not good here. Does Nick have any kind of, like, ace-five suited or anything there to yes. balance his range? He did it jam in. it, and now uh, Nick has the aces. Elior is going to look at this hand and say, uh-oh, I'm in trouble. He needs a backdoor straight here, as Nick does flop a set of aces. So that's not going to happen. Nick Petrangelo is going to double up here in a big pot and send Elior to the short stack here with that one. Tough one for Elior there. And he is rising up the leaderboard here, now raising it to 1.2 million with an ace. Ace. That's my Trangelo favorite. Hand. They, yeah, my I think it's a pretty hand. good hand. <laughs> <laughs> Jack Ten of Diamonds. He oh, moves wow. all in. Uh oh. Yeah, he's not going to like what he's going to see on the other side. But Jack Gong has moved all in for 13.7 million. And Jack Jack oh. on the flop. And Nick Petrangelo has flopped perfect with. Jack, Jack. Oh, oh my God, wow. he's big quads. Oh, <laughs> poor Jack Gong. He built that stack up. And it's not going to be enough. He's going to be our fifth place finisher. Aces go down here at the final table of the World Online Championship. Jack Gong, our fifth place finisher. Wow. Hmm. It's a little unfair to for your name to be Jack and you lose to quad jacks like that. Nick's got to shut it down I, here, I, right? I would think so. I'd be, you know, again, really surprised if he goes for it. But bluffing on... Oh, oh, that wow. could be it, guys. Man, I just never guess right with Nick. I hope This is why I said, please don't <laughs> let him in the TOC. I just know I never <laughs> guess right with him, ever. What a spot for Artsium. But if I'm in his... Again, I'm looking at the cards. But if an I, I'm in his shoes, I generally just don't end up folding here. I don't like it. But I tell myself, like, eh, I'm too high in my range. Heads up poker. I guess I call. This could be the championship here if he makes the call. What a spot. What a spot. Oh, and he wow. makes the fold. Wow. Whoa. Oh. Chopping with Queen 8 and Queen 9, if you were worried about that. Mm -hmm. Did leave a hundred and ninety-two K behind. I mean, what kind of fold would this be if you were to make it? I mean Oh. oh man. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh my god. Really? How what good? The hell? How is this possible? <laughs> Jeez. I do not understand. Really Tell, me, hope? Tell me. Tell me. Pretty uncomfortable spot to be in with the queen high flush draw and an ace here. I, I don't really know what I would do. The stack size is pretty awkward, right? For facing 8.3 million. You're putting yourself in I think it would end up kind of precarious. As he did. Yeah. There I just think is. the That's size cool. is, oh god, so unlucky. <laughs> hey, it's been it's been real, y'all. <laughs> yeah, it's been fun. I <laughs> enjoyed your company. <laughs> it's, uh, thanks for tuning in. <laughs> um, especially with the queen of spades, I just can't imagine folding. Yep. Yeah. So, congrats to Nick Petrangelo, our newest WPT winner. Uh, put an awesome final table, super impressed, kept us on our toes. Sucks that we have to fight him in the TOC now, but it is what it is. 
Congratulations. Yeah, 400. Also, congratulations.